Hi guys, this is Farz and welcome back to Farzalozi. And I am here with a uh, new interesting typography tutorial. In this video, I'll show you how to create a colorful text effect. Hope you will love this tutorial. And now, let's get started. Okay, first create a canvas. Uh, go to the file and select new or press Ctrl and N on your keyboard. And now choose your suitable canvas. I'm going with 1920 pixels in white and 1080 pixels in height. Resolution 300 and color mode RGB background white. Okay, that's fine. So this is our canvas mainly. And I want to pick a solid color now. And I'm choosing a dark, I think, yeah, it's black. I'm choosing a black color as a background. That's perfect. And now, pick your text tool. And I am using a font called Ballpark. And you will find this font link on the description. So you can go there and easily download. And now, text color white and and let's try what you want so i'm typing something retro so retro in one layer and then copy the layer by pressing ctrl and j and then select the move tool by pressing v and drag it like here select the text tool again and select the text by pressing ctrl and a and type your second word and I am typing casino that's perfect select the move tool and move something like this I think it looks perfect okay and now I need to put another word here so select the text tool again and type something like I'm typing VET select the move tool and position it in the middle press ctrl and t and make it smaller like this so our typing is done let's make a group of all these three layer uh, so press and hold shift select the first layer and the last layer look at this it will select all the layers between the first and last selected layer and now press ctrl and z to make a group and then position it on the middle that's perfect okay now again press ctrl and t and right click on the mouse and select here skew and then click on this point and drag like this and then here also like this so i think it looks perfect and now i want to go to the layer style option so select the group layer and come into this option the layer style option and select every stroke that's good and now for the stroke i want to choose a dark blue color so i think i'm going with yeah i think this color looks good so the color code is 0A001B so this is the color code dark blue color I think this is fine so press ok ok so it is not seen now because the background color also dark so let's change this to see the exact color exact stroke so this is the stroke ok I want to increase the size little bit uh, maybe maybe 35 or 30 I think let's start with 20 and position select here outside blend mode normal opacity 100% now since the color so the color code was 0 a 0 0 1 B that's good and now press ok it's done now copy this layer twice by pressing ctrl and z twice 
that's perfect and now select the group one copy and again go to the stroke option and here just change the color 5 4 a d f f so it is a light blue color now press ok and let's set this to uh, maybe 15 I think yeah then position outside okay and now look at this uh, the stroke is not visible now so now press the right arrow key on your keyboard for several time and look at this look at the strokes it looks beautiful and now down arrow keys for several times to get the perfect effect I think okay 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 I think it looks fine let's zoom out and see I think it looks perfect now right okay let's go with this okay now select these three groups and make another group by pressing ctrl and z and then make another ray stroke so select this group layer and then go to the stroke option again and now this time a stroke color is white and i think 15 looks good to me let's go with 13 i think yeah it looks fine so now press ok that's perfect and now expand the group and select the group 1 copy 2 and now again go to the layer style option and select your gradient overlay and now choose a gradient like this so the first stop is white then location 50 percent and set a orange color the color code is ff9000 triple o that's perfect and now a red color so now press ok and so i think yeah it looks fine i think this looks good to me uh, and now press ok look at this it looks beautiful now i want to add a inner shadow in the later so again go to the layer style option and select your inner shadow okay change the blending mode to soft light and black color this time i think yeah it looks fine opacity 100 percent let's change the angle a little bit 75 i think i'm going with 70 percent or maybe 65 i think 65 looks fine to me okay let's increase the distance a little bit 15 it's too much i think okay let's try with 12 i think 12 looks perfect so now press ok and now look at the text it looks beautiful right okay now i want to add some shine on the text to make it more beautiful to give a 3d look okay so i think that the base text design is done okay now i want to add some shine so create a new layer and pick a pen tool okay before pick a pen tool select the brush tool here and hardness is 100 percent here opacity 100 percent flow 100 percent and let's paint with the brush maybe stroke side i think this is a little bit big i think this size looks better or a little bit more smaller i think it looks good this size would be perfect press ctrl and z to undo and now pick the pen tool and then just create something like this and now right click on the mouse and select your stroke path and select your brush as a tool and check this option simulate pressure and now press ok and delete path and look at this this is beautiful let's create here also 
right click on the mouse, select stroke path, select brush tool and now press ok. And then right click on the mouse and delete path. Look at this, it looks beautiful. It's a really easy way to create this kind of effect. So this effect is done, look at this. So this was the before and this is after. It's a really easy to create but it looks beautiful. Uh, it creates another dimension. That's perfect. But now look at this area. I think I should paint with white this area uh, because it's a little bit distracting. So create a new layer with a brush, soft brush, sorry hard brush and paint with white color. If you think it's okay then it's okay don't no need to paint with white to me it looks a little bit distracting so you can go I think yeah now now look at this okay it's not bad actually without the white color it's not looking bad so it's your choice you can go with the white or you can uh, without go with the white okay that's perfect now i want to add some uh, shape to make it a little bit more uh, attractive so i'm choosing a ellipse tool to do it create another layer and i want to create some circle different shapes different size circle okay fill with white color no stroke and press and hold shift and just click and drag it will create circle okay that's perfect So look at this before and after, it looks fine, you can do it here and there, it's on your, it depends on you. So it's done, okay now I want to add some shine to it, so create this, create a new layer again. And now this time I am choosing ellipse tool again, fill, noise stroke and create something like this. and another one like this so now look at this press ctrl and t oops okay let's merge this two press and hold ctrl and select this two layer and select our Mars shape. Press Ctrl and T now. Make it a little bit smaller. And now place it where you want. Maybe here. Yeah, it looks good. Press Ctrl and Z to copy. And then again move it here and there and place where you like. Maybe, maybe here. Or here. <laughs> I don't know. Okay. Again copy it. Make it a little bit smaller. And maybe here yeah it looks fine press ctrl and z copy again and maybe here so i think this is done now let's zoom in and see look at this the text look beautiful the colorful you can use it in anywhere okay so the text effect is done and i hope you will love this tutorial if you did hit the like button leave your comments and don't forget to subscribe